What's up guys? It's one question in a day. January 8, 2010. I am Pete Moss. Today would have been Elvis Presley's 75th birthday, which is the inspiration for today's question. In your opinion, who was the bigger star? Michael Jackson or Elvis? Now before anyone young jumps out and says, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, you need to get some facts straight on Elvis. Elvis was huge for a long, long time. And he died at 42 years old also. Eight years younger than Michael. Um, and he didn't start out as a kid like Michael did, but he was still around. Elvis influenced so many bands that from the big bands from the 60s, 70s, even 80s, even into today's music. Elvis still shows influence. I personally think a little more influence than Michael. Michael kind of had his own little style that was his thing, kind of like Prince does. You know, nobody else really does their stuff. Um, Elvis had his own style, but Elvis has been copied. You know, a lot of people don't copy those guys. I mean, Elvis has been dead for 30 years, and there were thousands of people outside Graceland this morning for his birthday. It was freaking like zero degrees, minus 10 degree wind chill and snowing and all these people show up to celebrate this man's birthday 30 years after he's dead. Will they be showing up at the Neverland Ranch in 30 years? I mean, not probably, but who's to say? And also I asked some people, and this is what you, if you're younger and you're thinking Michael Jackson automatically, ask someone who's 50 to 55 or older that's been around long enough to see Michael Jackson and to see Elvis See which one they think. That's what I did. That's how I. That's what helped me come to my conclusion. I'm going with Elvis. Um, I talked to six people today. Over 55, every one of them was. Um, black lady, white lady, black guy, two white guys. I talked I talk to six people. And they all adamantly agreed that Elvis was bigger than Michael Jackson. These people were old enough to see both of their careers. Um... And they just said that as big as Michael Jackson was, he just wasn't as big as Elvis, nor will he ever be. Um, Michael probably brought in more money than Elvis did, but shit cost a lot more now than it did in the 70s and 60s when Elvis was doing his thing. So, I mean, I read somewhere today that Graceland was worth $500,000 at the time of Elvis's death. How much is Graceland worth today? I didn't Google that, but, you know. Um, so I'm picking Elvis. I mean... Michael Jackson had some, some he was accused of some really bad things. I won't give an opinion on that. It's not my place to say, but I do kind of like what Cat Williams has to say on it. You can uh, check out, there's a video, um, Cat Williams on Michael Jackson. <laughs> That's kind of the way I feel about it, but, you know, it's not my place to say on that. But, like I said, uh, uh, overall, Michael was great. He was great. I ain't gonna lie to you, when I was like in junior high, Michael Jackson was the shit. I was trying to moonwalk. I tried, you know, I, I liked it. He made Thriller. But when Elvis died, I remember where I was at. I was at my grandparents' kitchen, and my grandma was like the biggest Elvis fan in history. She used to torment me from the time I was a little kid and could just barely talk that she was gonna trade my grandpa, who I just adored and admired. It was like, I wanted to be with him all the time when I was a little kid. She would tell me she was going to trade Elvis for my grandpa. I remember being a little kid and being glad Elvis died. I was like, he ain't trading him in now. I said to my grandma, she was standing there crying over Elvis, which made her cry more. <laughs> but anyway, so my guys, guys, my pick is Elvis. Um, let's see who you guys think. Leave your comments, video response if you want. Um, but before you jump right out there and say, Michael, talk to your grandparents, aunt, uncle, somebody that's old. Talk to a couple old people and ask them what they think and just realize how big Elvis was. I mean, Michael filled up the Staples Center. Over 125,000, at least 125,000 women stood outside Graceland when during Elvis's funeral in like 100 degree heat in August just to get a glimpse of him. Um, I'm going to let you in. The Staples Center don't hold 125,000 people. So anyway, that's just what I think. This is one question a day. I'm Pete Moss. I will see you guys tomorrow. Please leave your comments. Let us know what you think. 
I hope you rate five stars. Peace.